Hi, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video, we're going to be removing some melamine or melamine on a cupboard door and repainting. Let me show you what it is. We've got this here, and I don't know if I come up close. Let's get to the camera there. I don't know if you can see that, it's loose. And then if you look, is it that here? And if you look, let me just get it to there. Up. It's loose there. And then, let me just get it in there. I don't know whether you can see it. It's all, it's all come away. Well anyway, you don't have to replace the cupboard door or anything like that because underneath this is the perfect base to paint. So let me show you the materials that I'm going to be using. Here's the paints that I'm going to be using and there's some MDF primer some Johnson's Aqua Undercoat and some Johnson's Aqua Top Coat. There's some two part filler just in case I've got to do any filling. And then there's just um, the tools, which you can see there. If you would like to um, purchase some of the tools that I use for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, if you're planning on doing any other decorating works, please feel free to visit my tool store. The link is also in the description below. All right, so let's get into stripping this melamine cupboard door. I mean, look how easy that's coming off. And look what's underneath. That is just the first base to paint. All right, we're probably going to need some, um, maybe a bit of cork there, or it might flood with the paint, we we'll see. But look how easy that was. So, when you melamine, so when your melamine is coming off your, um, say, your kitchen cupboard doors, it's not the end of the world because this is what you're left with. And if you're willing to put the work in to paint them, they can look even better than having the melamine on them. I'm so excited about this giveaway, I can't, I can't pull it into words. I've been working on this for a while, so I'm really happy that the giveaway is now open and I could be coming to decorate a room for you. All you need to do to enter is fill out the entry form of where you are from, i.e. Yorkshire, followed by a description on how a new decorated room would impact your life. Then leave your email address and name. That's how simple it is to enter this giveaway. The link to enter this giveaway is in the description below. The form is underneath the rules, so please read the rules. If you want to be a part of helping me make this type of content, please feel free to buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. All donations will go towards making this type of content. So thank you very much. And take care. And good luck. Right, I've got this on the paint tub, so it's off the ground. So what I'm going to do first is just give it a quick sand down. And for this I'm just using some worn down 80 grade sandpaper. And it's already a good surface, so we're literally just giving it a light sand down. Making sure this all 
any of the gluey bits or whatever. I mean, I've only done this once before, so, and that was on a load of kitchen cupboards. So I'm hoping this is going to work again. I'm sure it will. And remember, when you're doing projects, it's progress. When you're doing projects, it's progress and not perfection. This is um, primers dried. I did cork the um, little gaps here as well. And if you get up close, I just don't know whether you can see it. Here, it's like a different where the glue. It's sort of pulled at the MDF, it's sort of like roughed it up. So what I, let me just give you a, look at it like that. And if you see going up here, that's just a bit sort of furred up where there was sort of a bit of glue and the, the melamine is sort of like sort of pulled on the MDF a bit. But at this stage, I'm not going to fill it. What I'll do is I'm going to give it a light sand down, then an undercoat. Then if it looks really bad still, I will. I mean, it don't look really bad, but if it still looks really noticeable before I apply the top coat, I'll just run some two pack filler over it. Right, so this is a worn down bit of um, 80 grade sandpaper. So I'm just gonna give this a uh, light sand in. And like I said, this bit's still looking sort of um, a bit different. Or oh, it's not blended in. I'll fill it with some two-pack. I don't even know whether you can see it. Like I mentioned, where it was gonna, oh, right, like I mentioned, we was gonna see what it looked like once it was um, under COVID. But you can just still see a slightly different texture there where the, where when we pulled the melamine off, this bit was just sort of stuck and it just sort of pulled the MDF a bit. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna fill this with some um, two pack. You can use um, fine filler, um, but I need this to dry pretty quick, so I'm going to use um, two pack. So remember, when you're filling, fill cleanly, because the cleaner you fill, the less there is to sand, and the easier it is to sand. Okay?
let me give you a close up of this um, field and you can see sort of how cleanly I filled it. See what I'll do next is I'll sand that filler once it's dry and I'll spot that filler up with some undercoats ready for its two top coats. Now the two packs dry I'm going to give it a sand down, a dust off and then I'm just going to touch this bit up that I filled and then it'll be, then it'll be ready for his two top coats. What I'm going to do now is give it a light sand down and then it's first coat of satin. It's going to have two coats of satin but I'll only show you doing one coat and I'll just as per usual show you the end products. And this is what it looks like once it's had its two top coats. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.